Hi, and welcome to Fox and Her Creations. I'm Brie, and today I'm going to show you the fishbone stitch. This is the stitch that I use commonly to make my leaves, and it's a method of going back and forth overlapping stitches. So we're going to come up through the fabric and go down about a quarter of an inch. It really depends on how big your leaves are going to be. And I find outlining the leaves first, so I have a guide that helps me. And then we're going to come up through the fabric again on side A, and then we're going to overlap at the bottom of that uh, initial stitch. And then we're gonna come back up on side B and overlap the side A stitch. We're gonna come up back up on side A and overlap on the bottom of the side B stitch. So we're gonna keep doing this method so we create a spine in the center of the leaf. I'm gonna speed it up here in just a moment. And you can see that it's already starting to create that little bit of definition in the middle of the leaf. And you can use this technique on multiple other leaves. Uh, this is just a leaf that I use, a leaf that I use in, commonly in the designs that I create. It's just a simple, easy, dainty little leaf and I just love it so much. There's a lot of technique uh, that can grow from this. You can do maple leaves or petals, uh, just a lot of different things. Um, you'll see I skip around a couple times throughout the video. It's because I had issues with my thread getting um, tangled up or my needle getting unthreaded, so I just have to stop and really deal with the situation. <laughs> Um, but you can see it's looking really pretty. I'm really happy I chose this copper color for the example because it's really fall tones and I'm really digging earth tones right now. You can see I'm going to come back up through A and then overlap that stitch at the bottom. And as you work through your leaf, you'll get towards the bottom and start making smaller stitches. And then the very last stitch I like to actually put my needle and thread through the bottom of the very last stitch just to kind of tie it all together. And there you have it. That's the fishbone stitch. It's super easy, super fun. Um, remember to always, uh, if when you're starting out, create an outline of the leaf you want to make. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you love this. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye!